What's up guys? Another little car chat. Another little commentary. <laughs> Based off of, I'm getting a lot of comments on my workout videos lately, and so I thought I would just address some things. So one thing that I've noticed is I get a lot of, you should do it like that. You shouldn't do it like that. You should do it like this. You should, you know, all this. Stop shooting all over yourself. Listen to me. Like, there's a lot of, I don't know how else to say it. There's a lot of egos in the training industry and they like to do things like wrong, right, wrong, right. I know more than everybody else and everybody else knows less than me and there's a lot of this kind of thinking, right? So for example, um, recently it's been, you should do your overhead presses before your third exercise and stuff like this and I'm just like, guys, it doesn't matter that much. What matters at the end of the day is that you got the freaking stimulus for muscle growth and you got out of there. Okay. It's like, there's so much of this, like, well, you have to do this primer movement, this compound movement, then you have to do a stabilized one and then an unstabilized one. And it has to be this way. And I'm like, let me see your effing shoulders, bro. Let's compare. Cause we, I get a lot of this kind of stuff from people who don't have results. They watch a bunch of coaches. Everybody has a different opinion. Everyone has a different opinion on programming. And the one thing that I have seen for sure is that so many people disempower themselves in the gym because they have this one coach that they geek out on and he knows everything. And however he says to do it is the right way. And he usually has a giant ego and he's like, and other people are wrong. And this is why it's stupid. And we get in this like dick measuring contest from hell in the gym. And I'm like, listen, Listen, it doesn't have to be that complicated. It doesn't. It doesn't have to be this big, hard, crazy, freaking, you know, the lady in the meme with the symbols and she's all confused. Like, that's how I see these people that are like so in the mindset of it has to be done a certain specific perfect way. And I'm like, you know what freaking matters? That you get your ass in there, that you lift hard, that you go for it, that you create that stimulus for growth, and then you get out and you recover and you eat well to recover your muscles. So I'm just sharing this because I'm Thank you, uh, Mariah. I'm getting so many um, comments of just these like, you know, that the you're doing it wrong mentality. And it's, I have to admit, it is a little annoying when you have spent, you know, probably close to $100,000 in your education and learn from many of the top coaches in the world. And then you're getting Joe Schmo on Instagram who wants to tell you, mm -mm -mm, not like that. I'm like, let me see your shoulders, bro. Let's see. You want to go lift together? Let's see what you got. You know? And so anyway, I'm sharing that because it's kind of become like culturally uh, a thing it, and it makes people afraid. It disempowers people. It makes them go into the gym like, oh, I'm not doing it right. You know? And I'm like, holy shit. Can we bring this back to the old school <laughs> where people just went in the gym and freaking lifted? I'll tell you what, I'm going to listen to somebody who has results before I'm going to listen to some coach who thinks he knows everything and doesn't have results in that area. Straight up. I know I do it at the gym and he had a pancake butt and now he has really nice glutes. I'm very interested in what he has to say. But Joe Schmo, who maybe he even got educated and he still does not have glutes, but he knows everything about glutes. I don't, I'm not interested, especially when he's coming at me with a bunch of ego about it. And I guarantee I know why he doesn't have glutes because he got a big old ego and thinks he knows how to do it and he doesn't, you know? And so I'm, I'm just only bringing this up because don't let those, don't let those kind of people like get to you. Don't, don't, don't get so trapped into the mentality of like this disempowered, like, I don't know, am I doing this right? It's like, dude, did you go in there like a mother effing beast and stimulate your muscles and freaking kill it? Okay, cool. You're going to grow some muscle. I freaking promise you. You know how you're not going to go build muscle is being in this energy of, oh, am I doing it right? What if some trainer is watching me and this isn't exactly right? Just freaking connect to your own body and push yourself. It doesn't have to be so effing complicated. Yes, there are more intelligent ways that we can train, right? But this whole mentality of like, holy shit, your overhead presses should have been third out of fourth in this order of exercises. I'm like, bro, like stop overcomplicating everything and just get in there and kick your ass. Do men stare at me in the gym and do they go up to me, you and give you advice? No, actually, I, I will admit I do have men sometimes ask me for advice. <laughs> um, 
haven't had that. No, I haven't had people. No, people only do that from Instagram comments, you know. And I don't know. Sometimes I'm not really sure if it's if they're just trolling and they just, you know, like to do this with fitness people and just say stuff just to get a rise out of them or whatever. I never really know. Um, and sometimes I won't comment. And sometimes you guys know how I am and I will. And I like to be a little sass mouth brat because that's just how I am. But um, I, I'm, I'm bringing this up because... I see from like people who are being genuine, they're like, they've seen all this dogma of like, this is how you have to do it. And, blah, blah, blah. and then everybody has a different opinion. Right. And so then people get so confused and they get disempowered. I actually was learning from like one of the like top strength coaches in the world and was doing, and I'm not going to say who it is, but I was doing everything the way that he said to do it. And I got so disempowered. His energy was so disempowering of like wrong, 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 every wrong, no wrong, wrong, wrong. I actually lost a significant amount of muscle during that time because my my intensity was so low because I was so concerned about doing it the way he said to do it. And then as I went further in my career, I met other coaches that were like, "No, actually he's freaking wrong on that." Right? So like this kind of, watch out for that, you know? Like this ego, I don't really like the kind of posts and stuff that are like wrong. Right. You know, I, I, I get like trying to help people overcome things that might injure them or like how we can optimize exercises. But if somebody's coming at you in the energy of like everybody's wrong and I'm right, I would just kind of raise an eyebrow at that, you know? Um, are people treating weights and fitness as a one size fits all approach? Of course. That's what everybody does with everything. Nutrition too. Um, it really does disempower me and can be intimidating when seeing them in the gym. Everyone says how nobody's paying attention to you, but in reality, there are these guys that are doing exactly that. Yeah, man. Like I'll tell you as a trainer, when I see people at the gym, once one is, I don't want them to feel like I'm watching them. You know, I try to like say to myself, I'm not, I'm not, you know, um, every once in a while I might catch somebody out of the corner of my eye and I can, all I think is good for you. Like, even if their execution isn't perfect, I'm like, go for you. Like, it's a freaking journey. We've all been on it. Like, just keep going. Just keep pushing. Like, it makes me smile when people are trying, you know? That's it. If any true coach that wants to empower people is going to come in a supportive and encouraging energy, not a you're doing it wrong energy. That's ego, right? But a, a true coach wants people to be at their best and encourages them. And, and it like wherever you're starting, you know, um, shouldn't people be focusing on technique and the, and adjusting fitness to their personal needs? Yeah. And you know, I, a thing I've been telling my clients forever is you are your own best personal trainer because Although I, yes, I can give you tips and things that have been helpful to a lot of people and some things to keep in mind. Only you know what it feels like inside your body for sure. Only you do. So like so much you can do, you can get so far by simply closing your eyes and connecting. Let's say you're doing delt raises and you're like, dude, am I even feeling that in my delts right there? Hold on. Let me move this around a little bit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, actually I figured out if I don't go down all the way and I, oh freak. Mm -hmm. You can get really far just doing that. Yeah. Encouragement over ego. Yeah. So anyway, it, it bothers me. You know, people, God, they are just so like mm, wrong. You're wrong. I'm right. And it's, it's annoying. And I just am expressing this to you guys because I don't want you to feel disempowered when you go in the gym, just get in there, connect to your own body. Just freaking be a badass. tap into that. Yes. Take in different opinions, but remember they are effing opinions. I don't care how many accolades somebody has. I know a lot of high level coaches and they disagree with each other on all sorts of things. And they train Olympians and professional athletes and all sorts of stuff. And they disagree with each other. So keep that in mind. No one is right. No one has all the right answers. If you tried what they suggested and you got benefit out of that, awesome. Thank you for the tip. I appreciate that. That was helpful for me. In the story period, but like this disempowered, like there's one right way to do it and everyone else is doing it wrong. Like if that's the energy people are coming at you with, I would just find somebody else for education because yeah, it's it's not necessary. And any that my biggest fear is that I would disempower you and what you're doing and making forward strides in your fitness. I don't want that. I don't mind helping, but I'm not in the energy of like being like, Oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> I have all the right answers. I'm such an educated, awesome trainer. Like that shit sucks. We don't need that. We need encouragement and support and help and that kind of energy. So anyway, that's all. Okay. Have a great Friday guys. Bye.